Look right, yeah. Okay, I'm going to say something that is likely going to piss a lot of you guys off, okay? So, prepare yourself here. Please, like, strap yourselves in. Prepare yourself for the, for what I'm about to say here, okay? I back Gareth Southgate as England manager. Wow! No way! Okay, there you go. There you have it. This is my video. I've seen a lot about Southgate. A lot, right, in the last couple of days, right? Which I feel like is... I just kind of feel like it's just... It's just being negative and just chatting shit for the sake of chatting shit. I, I, you know what? Before we do get into it, of course, if you guys are new here, please do subscribe to the channel. I am about to hit 300,000 subscribers, hopefully, some point in next month. Um, I don't know how long it may take, but we are almost 9,000 away from it now. The love on the channel has been immense, so thank you all so much for that. And I do know I'm wearing a Juventus shirt when I'm, well, Juventus training shirt when I'm on about England, but... It doesn't really matter, does it? We're all grown-ups, right? Okay. And also try and hit 2,000 likes. I don't really put a like towards my video, but we're doing it now. And of course, shout out to today's sponsor. Yo, do you play FIFA 22? Yeah. Is your team bang average? You absolute pathetic piece of... You saying that to the viewers? No, obviously. Ah, okay. I mean you. Do you face teams like this? You can't keep getting away with it! Do you know there's a way to get coins? Why are you shouting at me? <laughs> then go to usurvive.com for the cheapest and most reliable place to buy your coins on FIFA 22. Link is down below in the description. And also use code VISA at checkout to get a discount. So let's talk Gareth Southgate, right? So the way that I see it is that I've seen a lot of negativity, a lot of content creators, a lot of English fans. And just to put my standpoint, it is mainly Twitter. So, I do understand that Twitter is Twitter, and people like to have a mourn at absolutely everything. So, I'll, I'll keep that in mind, you know, with a pinch of salt, but I do still feel like it's very overwhelming anti Southgate, which I look at it from a, a factual perspective. And the reason why I back Southgate is because he's not really gave me a real reason to think that he isn't good as an England manager. And hear me out before you guys just give me absolute just... Right? Because, yes, I do understand that people do not like the fact that he is seen as a negative manager, a defensive manager. Seven defenders is what people have to say, right? You got the three centre backs, they got the wing backs that tracks back when they're defending, like most teams, and then you got the two midfielders, which are seen as defensive like midfielders. If it's Declan Rice and Phillips in the Euros, so on and so forth, right? People see that as very negative, people see that as very anti football, but let me get one thing straight here. This is international football. It's not club football. It's very, very different. You cannot compare how Liverpool and City play in comparison to how England plays. It's not the same dynamic. It's not the same type of football. That's just a fact of the matter here. Why do you think he prefers the five-back system? Let's have a think. Have a big think. Why do you think he plays that system? He would play it if he thinks that it works. Does it work? Yes. It does work, and if you and before you give me any stick, if you're anti Southgate, I'll give you facts here. In a major international tournament, which just happened, the Euro 2020 tournament, we conceded zero goals from open play, and we made it to the final. Zero goals from open play in a major international tournament. We conceded two the entire tournament. One was, one was a unbelievable free kick by Damsgaard. Nothing you could do to stop that. He scored from like 30 yards out. Fair play. You can't even say that, oh, well, we made a stupid foul near the goal. Because it wasn't even that. It was just an unbelievable free kick. And then the next one is a corner off Italy in the final in which the ball bounced around and Bonucci just stumbled in back of the goal. It's one of them in football. You may say that, oh, we could have cleared our lines better, but... That's our first defensive mistake that led to a goal, if you can even count it as that. And that's still off a set piece in an entire international major tournament. So that is my fact of the matter, that the reason why we play the way that we play is because it fucking works. Defensively, we are one of the best teams in the world. Defensively, we are. Let's go on to the next point here. Now, everyone keeps saying after the fact, conveniently, that, oh, this is the golden generation, which it's not. Anyway, oh, this is the golden generation. We should be winning the Euro. Oh, he stopped us from winning the World Cup. Oh, he stopped us from um, winning the Euro. Oh, it's all Southgate's fault. Okay, can you go to me right now and tell me that you expected us to do anything in that World Cup? 
Feel free, please look me dead in the eye. When the tournament before that, we got knocked out by Iceland, and the tournament before that, we got embarrassed in the group stage, in which the year before that, to get in by Italy, and then one before that, we got embarrassed again 4 1 in the round of 16. So tell me, please tell me, did you expect us to make it to the semi final? No, you didn't. You didn't. You, you thought that maybe quarters, round of 16, that'd be all right, right? And then here comes the next point here. Oh, it's an easy run. An easy run. Uh, Colombia, and then we have Sweden, and people giving us sh for having an easy run. Let me get one thing straighter. Who knocked out Germany in group stage? Or Sweden? In that same tournament, who knocked out Spain? Russia. In a Euro that just went by, who knocked out France? Switzerland. Oh, Italy that won a Euro. How did they get into the World Cup? Oh wait, they got knocked by North Macedonia. My point is, is that it's not as simple as, oh, you should have a better team, therefore you beat them. Because that's not how it works. That's not how it works. May say you got an easy run with Sweden and Colombia, and then even in a Euro, the fact that we got Germany and Ukraine, Okay, and then we got Denmark, but these are teams that has done well and beat top sides in international tournaments and in Europe in the last few years. Denmark literally just beat France the other day. So again, I think it's easy to say that we've got an easy run when a fact of matter is in international football, it's nowhere near as simple as, oh, you're the better team, therefore you win. Sometimes you like to think that works, but it's not because international football is different. It's different, not, not just physically, but mentally. The style of football is a lot more slower on international football. And that is a style of football which best suits Southgate. He sees in our defence that it's not that good. So what does he do? He tries to protect our weakness, which is defensively. And guess what? Has it worked? Yes, zero goals conceded in a major international tournament, making it to a semi-final and a final. By the way, if you forgot, we've not made it to a semi-final since 1996 and then not to a final of any any tournament since 1966. So, again, people thinking that oh, we'll be much better with, who am I hearing? Graham Potter? People are having to go at Southgate for being a yes man, but you think Potter would be much more different of being a yes man? Of course he'd be a yes man. Yes, Potter plays nice football with a team that probably shouldn't be playing that good football at Brighton. He's doing a great job over there, I must say. But to believe that he can integrate that into the English team instantly and think that it'll work and not be defensively weak at the back. I just feel like everyone's looking at Potter to be like this saviour, but I feel like would he really do that much different? I think people just point at it because he's English and he's playing some decent football, like playing some nice technical football. But all in all, do you think that he'll do that much better with England? He could do. He could not do. But I think it's a big risk to get rid of what we've already got, which is, by the way, the two best performances we've had in our entire history over in the World Cup win. People got about the golden generation, all two, all four, all six, all eight. We couldn't even make it into the tournament in all eight. And all six, well, that was just a bit of a mess. All four, bit of a mess. And all two, bit of a mess. So it's like, okay. Southgate is a man which has brought the country together, which I think is a massive part of it, because beforehand we were ran by some clowns that massively split the country apart. Like the likes of Fabio Capello, like the likes of Roy Hudson, right? Like the likes of King McLaren, right? We've had managers which no one really likes, they're not really likable, other than, I guess, Hudson, but that's because he's just a bit gimpy. But, like, it was seen as a bit of a laughing stock to the world of how we were ran. And with Southgate, he's come in and he's represented the country fantastically on every level, on and off the pitch. I think it's done fantastic to, to bring the country together and to represent us in a great way and then add that on top of the fact that on the pitch we've also done very well. So you add all these facts together and it's just like... I don't really get the overwhelming negativity. We lost in penalties. Like, we lost in penalties. You know what I mean? It's like, it's 50 50. You know, end of the day, Southgate has given me enough reason to back him for this World Cup. If he goes into it and we flop and we're too defensive and we can't score goals and the, you know, we're getting outplayed in midfield. I don't, I don't think our defense is that immense. And I don't think our midfield is that immense. Like, we've got some good players there, but it's, I don't think, I don't think we've got, we've not got the best defense in the world, not got the best midfield in the world. And attacking wise, got some good players, but I just feel like we've not got the best team in the world. Like, it's a good team, it's a great team, and we can do f good things with this team. We have done good things with this team, but I, I don't feel like we should be expected to go on to win a tournament. I just don't think we should. I would love to, and do I think we can? I think we can, but if we don't win it, I don't think that's an absolute disgrace, if you get what I mean. And I think a lot of people see it that way, which I just don't think that's right. I think it's unfair to, like, after the fact, 
when beforehand they were not thinking about winning the entire thing, thinking that it's not really possible, then we do lose. Like, oh, disgrace. I'm back in for the World Cup, and uh, if during the World Cup we get knocked out embarrassingly and something happens, then we can have a different conversation then. But to this day, I still back him. And after what I've seen in the last few days about Southgate, about how negative he is and how he's not moving the, moving the country forward, he's literally moved the country forward. He literally has. With the two best performances in international tournaments since we've since 1966. That's five decades, by the way. I'm on the three lines. Come on, England. It's coming on, of course. And, um, yeah, by the way, if you want to go and subscribe to the channel, then feel free. That's just my thoughts about Southgate. I may be wrong. Um, that's just how I see it. And you guys tell me your thoughts down below in the comments. Am I, do you back him? Do you not back him? Do you really hate him? Do you really love him? You know, it's your opinion, man. You know, that, your opinion's your opinion. I can't change it. This is just my side of how I see it. So... Yeah, I still back him. I think he's given me enough reasons to back him and the reasons why he plays the way that he plays. I think it works and it makes sense. It may not be the prettiest, but it works. And that's all I to say, really. So there you go, boys. Enjoy your day. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.